Minago ya be namakota je macha nakonia tehina. Ambo ste mi da gobi. Uh, Ambo nen uspekia je a numba unchamukt. Here. Uh, unchamukt. Good day, my relatives. Today we are going to go through um, lesson two. Um, the second rule in Nakoda, we went through lesson one, which was your noun is always the first letter in your sentence. Today we are going to concentrate on lesson, on rule number two, which is sentence structure. Now, if you'll notice in the books, in, it's in lesson three in the books here, but we have to cover lesson two to get to lesson three. And these will be available. As you can see, in lesson number three, rule number two is the sentence structure. The complete Assiniboine language sentence structure is constructed in the following manner. As, we, as you know, we talked about the noun is usually always comes first. And then we have, it's called articles in here. In the, the um, beginner Nakoda book, I believe they are called dem demonstratives. And I learned them, yeah, I learned them as articles as well. Then we also have the preposition that will go in the middle here. We will go, we will go, I will go over these in, I will tell you what the Nakoda version of these are quickly here, as soon as we're done here. And then we have the adjective. That is the middle of our sentence. And then we always have the verb at the end of the sentence. And again, I will quickly go through all these with you as well, because in the beginner Nakoda book, it has a very, very good example of all the words for the parts of speech. While we're doing this, we will also remember the rule of thumb where the second syllable is always accented in the coda. There are some, um, there are a few um, ex exceptions to that rule. Very few, but we won't get into that today. So for now, we are going to do some nouns in the coda. And a noun in English, as you know, is a name of a person, a place, or a thing. That is your English version. Now, let's go to our noun, our Nakoda nouns. Our Nakoda nouns, name of a person, place, or thing. Here is a good one here. Buza, buza, and that is a cat. That is a noun. Buza ska. Your ska would be white, and that would be your adjective. And verb, to have. Buza ska nuha. I have a black cat. I mean a white cat, sorry. See, there's your noun, your adjective, and your verb. Buza ska nuha. Cat, white, I have. Does that make any sense? Are you seeing? Okay, let's do, um, let's do your verbs. Verbs is an expression of action, a state of being. See, I have is a state. So your verbs here would, they would, it could represent action, or it could represent an, um, a condition, as in sick, mayaza. That would be a verb, I am sick. Now, your articles. Do you need some more examples for verbs? He's got quite a few. Yeah, za would be one. Um, 
Osni is another good verb, which is cold. Ambanen uh, osni. Day, this, cold. This day is cold. Noun, article, verb. Very simple sentence. Abanen osni. Now let's go into your articles, your prepositions, and your adjectives. Adverb, adverbs, they all go into the sentence. Dem pronouns, particles. See, some people, they, they have different names for this. But let's go, let's go into the articles now. Our articles in Nakoda, our articles in English would be this, that. Um, yeah, this, that, there, here. So that, you know, je, ne, uh, gaki, over there. Those are all articles. I hope I'm explaining this right. Articles, this, that, there, these, those. Nen. Gaken. Those are all articles and those all go in the middle of your sentence right here. Your adverbs. Um, adverbs are like in, in here it says the adverbs are an indicate in an indication of lo of location, time, or space. Um, that is your adverb. And a good adverb would be a long time ago. Wanagash. And that is a long time ago. That's a good example for an adverb. And these are all the, the middle of your sentence. The verbs and the nouns are the most important, and these are just fill-ins. Another adverb is, oh, I guess gaki over there is an adverb, nen here is an adverb, and wakaya, a holy manner. Those are all adverbs. And if you look in the dictionary, if you have trouble figuring out which is your adverbs and which is yours, if you look at any dictionary, it will tell you, hokshina odahi which is a superhero, and that's a noun. It tells you, it'll tell you in the back of your dictionary what your adverbs, what your verbs are, and that will, that will also help you while, while you're reading your, your um, lessons and your dictionary. Um, what else do we have to do here? Prepositions and adjectives. Um, did you, are, am I explaining myself properly? Like, do you understand the demonstratives, the pronouns? Yeah. We'll do the pronouns. Those are all into, also into the middle of your sentence. Those are all injected into the middle of your sentence. And a pronoun, um, like they're used in interrog interrog interrogative sentences. Pronouns replace a noun. Um, Paul is sick. He is sick. Or it also could explain a point of view, a speaker's point of view. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong way, wrong one. Um, Ish is one of them. Ish is a pronoun. Him, too. They, too. He, too. Also. Due is also a pronoun. Who? These are pronouns. Another pronoun is myself. Mia. Uh, amba nen mia induka. This day I am hungry. There is your this day I am hungry. 
noun, adverb, and um, verb. I am hungry, and your noun, and your oh your your what goes into your sentence, your pronouns, your your um, articles. See, amanen mia imaduka. This day I am hungry. And he's got particles and demonstratives, which are bo pretty much both the same. But the particles all go in here, and that is that je. That is, these are particles. Je is one of them. Uh, no, which is um, a question marker. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not a question marker. The male speakers use a no. I would never say, dokanyu, uh, dagudokano. A male would say that. I would say dagudoka. The males always use this. This is up for the male speakers. Um, wo, that is a command. Nechi inga wo. That's you always use in a command, at the end of a command. Iyo danga wo. Iyo da wo. You see, I'm not asking you to do it. I'm telling you to do it. If I'm asking you, not ne iyo danga wo. Ne iyo danga, I would say. But I'm not telling you. Uh, come and sit over here. I'm, I'm commanding you. Ne iyo danga wo. I'm telling you. And I guess you can also... Um, understand that that's its command by the way that I, I use my voice and how I fight, hyphenate the end of the um, second uh, syllable. Yo danga wo. Okay, that gets us to our interjections. They're small words. I'll write that down. Interjections, these are small words that are put into that are put into the sentence. Um, ha is one, which is yes. Ha. Oh, it says, I'm not sure how to use it. It's, an, it's a woman's exclamation mark, and it's a, it's a surprise. That is an interjection. And I think it's here, they say, and here, here. And wakta, that's my favorite. That's another interjection. And that is to watch out. I don't know why some ia wouldn't be one. Go over there. I would think would be one too. Some ia. And then we have the the prepositions. The prepositions are a clicks not full, but. <clears throat> unaccentuated elements that lean at the end of the verb. Um, um, I'm trying to think of one out right off my head. head. He has kta, which is uh, this added to a word makes it a future tense. Uh, of course, my mind is blank. Ga? Huh? Yeah. Wo oh, okay. We owe the hash then, wodakt, wodakt, wobi, wodabikta. We owe the, oh, spelt it. We owe the, huh? Sam, wodabikta. Okay, at dinner time, after this afternoon, 12 o'clock, this is noon, some, it means after, past noon, so it means after, sorry. This means to eat, right? Woda. But in the afternoon, I will eat. I'm making this into a future tense by adding ta. Do you understand? That's my favorite one. <laughs> um, just a just a quick breakdown on all these pronouns, prepositions, 
adverbs, demonstratives, pronouns, particles, nouns, verbs. That, all these are injected before, in between your noun. All these words can all be used into the center, middle of your sentence, and then your verb is at the end. That's how you build a Nakoda sentence. Um, if you have access to this book, it's a very, very good breakdown. You can further read on it and break it down. I'm not a very good English teacher. I myself had to uh, figure out all the adjectives, interjections. And when I went to school, that's like, these were, these, these were called articles. Uh. Like we had different names for them in my, in my school books. But that is a pretty good breakdown of all the nouns. And you do have to know, I find, that if you know a little bit of English, I guess you need a little bit of know, need to know a little bit of English to know the Nakoda. Um, some of the here's just a couple of little things for lesson one. Here we're just going to do a quick quick little reclap of lesson one. You can um, you can go through these here. There's the kta that I was telling you about. I'm not going to write all these down. I'm just going to do. Uh, a couple of them. These, Kristen will have them at the end of the... Nedue, uh, that's from your lesson one. You should know. Remember the basic, um, the basic um, phrases that we learned last week? Nedue, who are you? Nabechim nuzinkt, I will shake your hand. Token yeshka. How are you doing? How are you getting along? How are you going around? How are you doing? Um, ha, that's a good one. Yes, hia, did we do hia this past week or this is, that's in lesson two. See, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Mak'u, that was in one, that was, here, stop. These, these were all from last week, so they should all, you should all remember these from last week. And then remember we did a quick little, um, I want, remember we, we conjugated the verb I want, do you remember that? That will be in last week's. And then there's some some simple phrases that jechi yodanga, you should remember that. Yodanga, nabechim nuzing, dokanyashka, dagu dokanuga. Remember that? What are you doing? Chaniska yaching, hochnach yabi yaching. Those are all lesson one from lesson one last week. And today we are going to do lesson two. We're going to go through the vocabularies of lesson two. And as we're going through lesson two, you yourselves at home can um, go ahead and um, look at the if you can pick up the verbs in these words, the verbs, um, the articles, the prepositions, and your nouns. Remember your noun starts your sentence, your verb ends your sentence, and everything in the middle, if you can identify what those are, that will help you better, better um, help you understand the Nakoda sentence structure. Let's conjugate some verbs here. These verbs are simple, they will always be conjugated in this manner. As long as you have your root word, we're going to do mother today. One of the words we're going to do today is mother. Ina. Ina. My mother. Ina. My mother. Nihu. Nihu, that is your mother. Now, this word will always stay the same. This one will always stay the same when it is his or her mother, when you're speaking of him, it will always be Honga. 
it will uh, it, it will never change. Shehunga, that's his mother. Sheish, Shehunga. Those people over there, that's their mother. It'll always stay the same. These are all singular. Now, here's your plural forms of them. And these, this is how these, these plural, these, these words is the simplest way to pluralize them. Our mother, your mother, his, my mother, your mother, our, uh, his or her mother, their, our mother, your mother, their mother. Those are the, the, the way that we will be, um, simple verb uh, conjugation that we will be doing for this, for these. Inabi, Inabi, and that would be our mother. Nihubi, Nihubi, and this is your mother. Now we're going to say our mother. And if you'll notice when we say everything that says our, it's always and that's oh I'm sorry, that's their mother. Anything that's theirs will always have the ubi. Umbi. Isn't hungubi instead of hunga? Oh, hungubi. These are, yeah, these are, that's uh, nasalized. Hungubi, their mother. Hungubi. Hungu. Yeah, 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 it is. Sorry. Sorry, thank you. See, when I wrote that, I was thinking that, that looks like chief to me, but I didn't, I just kept going. Sorry, yeah, this is a you, sorry. Hungu. 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 Our mother. Hungu. Hunga. And this always stays the same when you talk. This, this word you'll find when you're doing your, um, your sentence structures or you're translating. This word when you talk about his or hers is always the same. As always, it always stays the same. Um, we have a couple more verbs before we go into the, um, into the, 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 the word, the word phrases and the vocabulary. Um, I have one of the things I was taught, was told to me by people who are very fluent is if you can understand what goes on with you, I have, I will do to you, I, you will do to me. If you can understand everything about how you do, you, what is done to you, what can be done to you, if you can understand all that, you will have no problem with uh, Nakoda. I have not figured out all about me yet. I'm still working on that, but that's one of the tips maybe I'll share with you, is that if you can figure out I have, I do to you, you do to me, I do to them, if you can figure out everything about my yourself, then you can figure out the, Nakoda, the rest of the Nakoda can follow through, follow, will follow through, I'm told. Okay, now I'm gonna have, I have, I'm gonna tell you, this is mine, I have. Remember how I, last page I said I have a white cat? Mnuha, mnuha, that I have. Mnuha, hochnach yabi, mnuha. O oakmane, mnuha. O oakwa waji, mnuha. I have coffee, I have one pen. Mnuha, I have. Mnuha. Mnu ha. See, you notice the second sentence. The second syllable is stressed. Mnu ha. I have. Now, I'm going to tell you that you have coffee. Hochnach yabi. Mnu ha. You have coffee. Hochnach yabi. Mnu ha. You have.
Buzaska no ha. You have a white cat. Itang no ha. Yeah, just kidding. You have a big mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll get back on track here. Okay. You ha. That is. <laughs> you ha. You ha. This is. He or she has. You ha. He or she has. Have. Sorry. You ha. Hokshina uh, je taba you ha. That little boy has a ball. Hokshina je taba you ha. Taba you ha. He has a ball. Hokshina je ish. Nuha tang you ha. Hokshina je. That little boy, he has big ears. Uh, I didn't know what else to say. Uh, but that's to have. You ha. They have. Now we're going to say we have. You hana hochnach ya bi. U you ha bi. U you ha bi. U. You. Habi. Un is us, all of us. You ha, they have. We all, the B is making it we. We all have. Un, B. See that, see the two up here as well? Oh, I guess it's not, it won't be the same. It's a different word. But we all have. Un hu ya bi. Un hu ha, un hu ya bi. We all have u ya habi, u ya habi, u you habi, you habi. This is u you habi. We all have. Huh? Now you all have nu habi. Uh, when chinja when chinja vija. Uh, taba tang nuhabi. All you little boys all have a large ball. Nuhabi, they have. Nu habi. See, we drop the ya and, and place it with nuhabi. No is you, they. They all have. Huh? No, I'm sorry, that's not they. All, all of you. Sorry. All of you have. That's what I was saying. No. You all have a big ball. All you little boys have a big ball. That's what I said. All those little boys. Tabatang, big ball. Nuhabi. You all have. Now, next is you hobby. They all have. Ade, when bija mina pesto, you hobby. Father, those boys have a sharp knife. Ade, mina knife, sharp pesto. You hobby, they have. Ade. Okay, I'll, I'll, let's try it. Let, I'll, how I said it was. Ade. Uh, what did I say? Let's go. Uh, we, um, little boys or little girls. We. we oh, well, well, we'll do. We'll do this. We chashta. Je. Let's do that. Ade, we chashta je mini. Okay, let's do this one here. We'll do a big one. Okay, there's my sentence for you habi. They have. Ade, we chashta je mini tanga you habi. Father, those men there, they have a large knife. Ade, father, we chashta je, those men. 
Wing Chashta, people, there, mini, knife, tanga, large, yuhabi. See, there's your noun, all your inserts, and they have is your verb. There is your article, your pronoun, those, pe the, 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 those people. See, and there's all your, all, all your, um, you can see they all fit in that sentence. All your article, your pronoun, your, and your verb at the end, to have. Okay, there's your to have. We have three more, one, two, three. We have three more um, verbs that I want to pluralize. We'll go on to our... Um, We'll go on to our phrases. Father, a day. Let's um. Let's co let's conjugate these verbs from singular and plural. Our father, a day. A day. I believe this is called first person. A day. That is father. My father. And it's not even my father. I don't know why they have that. Miade is my father. This is father. Niade. Now that is your father. And these are just like common phrases, common conjugations, uh, easy conjugations. If you conjugate more, like if you get into verb conjugation, uh, there's like so much to verb conjugation and that is like very very um I have a hard time okay I'll wait and this is his her father now here's your stop at at Google at Google his or her father at Google at Google Hear it? At Google. Now we're going to pluralize it and we're going to do our father. This is our father. A Debbie. A Debbie. A Debbie. Our father. Now, for your father, it's pretty close to this here. You see this? Now, but we're going to add the B on it to pluralize it to your. Nia Debi. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pronouncing that. Nia Deb. Nia Deb. See, I always say that. Nia Deb. I always say the end because I'm, um, this is my second, I'm a second language learner. But if you'll notice that uh, fluent speakers will not, Nia Deb. Niadeb, they will say. They won't say Niadebi. I, I say that because I'm, uh, and, and you will probably say it as well because you're not um, fluent and neither am I, so that's why I say it. But as you get more fluent and you learn more, you'll notice that you dro you'll drop that Niadeb, you will say. Now this, like this here, and all you do to this here is add the B on, see? At Kugu, at Kugu B. And that is their father. Ade, Niade, at Kugu, Adebi, Niadebi, at Kugu B. Father, your father, his or her father, our father, your father, their father. Now, I did, I did to have, right? Now we're going to open, we're going to do open. No, I did mitawa, I own, right? Okay, now. No, I didn't. <clears throat> now we're going to do open. We're going to do yushpa and the this will help maybe if you remember better. This is the, the word for yushpa. 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 Now these are kind of tongue, tongue. 
uh, kind of hard to um, say, but I will do this. Okay, to open. Yushpa. That's to open. Now I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this door. Tiob, Tiob, Tiob. Nushpa, Nushpa. Hear that? Nushpa. Hmm? Nushpa. I, mm, I opened. Nushpa. Nushpa. I opened. Now, you are going to open. Tiob, Tiob, Nushpa. Tiob, Nushpa. You open the door. Nushpa. Nushpa. You open. Nushpa. Tiobi, Tiob, Nushpa. Now, he or she is going to open the door. Tiob, you spa. Tiob, you spa. You spa. Tiob, you spa. Open the door. Now, we are going to open the door. We are all going to open a door. U, you, spa, b. U, you, spa, b. Oh, I forgot this. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. U, you, spa, b. U, you, spa, b. Tioba ne uyush babi. We opened that door. Tiobi tioba je ne uyush babi. That door we opened. Now you are all of you are going to open that door. All of you are going to open that door. Nush babi, nush babi, tioba nush babi. You all opened that door. Nush babi. Nushpabi. Tioba Tiobi Tioba je Nushpabi. That door you all opened. Now everybody is gonna open that door. You spabi. You spabi, you they all open that door. Tioba je you spabi. They all open that door. You spabi to open. They all opened it. You spabi. They all opened it. See, are you getting the? There's kind of like a little, um, kind of like a little pattern. Now we're going to do live and to own, and then we'll go through the list. I like going through these because this really helps. If you can use them in sentences, that helps you better understand as well. Now we are going to live. To live. <clears throat> they say this is the first person. Oops. Wati. Chahat ing. Ja wati. Carry the kettle is where I live. Doken, yeah. Doken. No, okay. This is I live. I live. Um. Yati. Yati. Ho ho jubina je. Je en yati ha. Do you live in Regina? Ho ho jubina je. Oh, I don't have to put je. Ho ho jubina. Yatiha. Regina, you live. 
at? Do you live at Regina? I'm asking you a question with a question marker. Yati, yeah, you live. Now, T. Now, if you, you see, like you spa. It didn't work for this one here, but uh, you spa. He or she opened again. I live. T. He or she lives. T. That. The he or she is usually <coughs> always this. It usually always is the same as the. Yes. Now I'm going to tell you. Um, we live. My family. My family. Ade ina misunga ish. We all live there. My mother, my father, and my brother, we all live and on carry the kettle. Your U is nasalized. We live or reside, doesn't matter, I reside, we live. Ooh, TB, ooh, TB. No, I was gonna say a big house that doesn't, uh, oh yeah, I guess so. TB, TB ska tanga, ooh, TB. See, it sounds weird. We live in a big white house, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah, it does sound weird. I was going yeah, to try and tell you we lived in a big white house. Ya TB, okay. This is where you all live. Ya TB, you all live. And this is you all live. Um, TB juicy nun, you hun, ya TB. You all live in a small house. And that's all. You all live or reside. Ya TB. Ya TB. And then TB. This is they all gain. Some of them, um, some of them are they work out like I said, and then there's there's some that, that don't, so I can't really say that. And this is they all reside. Um when when koshka when koshka when koshka uh huju ho ho bina tb. All those young women, they live in Regina. They all live in Regina. Who who's you be not who who's you Um, and our next one, our last one, our last um, verb that we're gonna go on, conjugate is to own, tawa, and that is a possessive verb. That's you own. That's making. It's giving you possession. And I've heard a lot of um, different teachers say that the Nakoda people are very possessive people. We, we, we take ownership to all of it, of, of, of a lot of things, because we like to own. It's ours. That's ours. So our verb, tawa, this is to own. Tawa. Um, Let me try to think of. Amogia Saba Metawa. I own a black car. Amogia Saba Metawa. Neish Owakmane Nemitawa. This pen too, this is mine. Nemitawa. This belongs to me. Uh, Chaje je mitawa. Chaje mitawa Teresa. My that name Teresa that belongs to me. I mean, there's th thousands of other Teresas out there, but this Teresa belongs to me. Just kidding. Um, I own mitawa. I think I explained that. Now I'm gonna say you own. 
ni tawa. And your these are nasalized. Ni tawa. I you own. Amogiaska ni tawa. Amogiaska je ni tawa he. Is that white car yours? Amogia ska she ni tawa he. Do you own that white car? That's what I'm asking you. Tawa. Tawa. He or she owns. Winchasta je tawa. That man belongs to her. <laughs> Okay, I won't get. I don't know. I don't know where these ideas come into my head. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, this coffee belongs to her. That's her coffee. Utawa bi. Utawa bi. Now this is a nasalized. You? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm mispronouncing this. Ungitawabi. Ungitawabi. I missed a gi. Ungitawabi. Ade ina ish. Shunga tanga. Yamni ungitawa bi. My mother and my father own horses. We own those horses. They are ours. Ade ish ade ina ish shunga tanga je je ungitawa bi. Those horses there, my mother and my father, they belong to us. Ungitawa bi. Um, Um, what else would be another one? Shunga, shunga, shunga oda ungitawabi. We own lots of dogs. Um, I guess I could have said we own lots of cars. Amogia oda ungitawabi. We own lots of horse of uh, cars. I'm trying to think of different uh, ways to use that. Other we own, we own lots of cars, dogs, horses. Now. I'm going to tell you, all of you own. So this is ni ta wa bi. Ni ta wa bi. All of you own. Uh, Ookma oda ni tawabi. You own lots of pens. Uh, pens. You own lots of pens. Uh, wo wo ish oda ni tawabi. You also own lots of books. You own lots of pens and you own lots of books. And then, like this, for everybody to own. Ta, wa, and then all we do is add the B, and that makes it all of you. They all own. They own. They all own. They own, or it's theirs. Ta, wa, B. We change our B. Oda Tawabi. They own lots of children. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that's it. You spa, you have. We did all of them. Ade. So, what do you think of all these? See, you can see there's always a little, um, there's sort of like a little pattern in all of these. They're, these are just common, very, very simple uh, pluralizations. Now, these are all your verbs for your lesson number two. These are all your conjugated verbs. We taught you about the les lesson structure. 
you know, about your verbs, your nouns, everything in the middle and your verb at the end, your prepositions, your adjectives, your articles, all in the middle and your verb at the end. You have a good solid foundation of how to build your sentence with always the rule of thumb, which is the second syllable in the Nakoda word is always, and I didn't do it here, and I didn't do it on any of them, so I'm going to do it now. Me, ta wa, me ta wa, me ta wa, I own. Ni ta wa, you own. Ta wa, I own. Ungi ta wa bi, ungi ta wa bi. It's ours, we own it. Ungi ta wa bi. Ni ta wa bi. All of you own it. Ni ta wa bi. Ta wa bi. They all own it. Ta wa bi. See? And you, you say it a little bit. It's the way you say the word. Mi ta wa. See? I'm, I'm say, saying it, just accentuating it just a little bit more. Now, all these words, I'm going to give you your vocabulary for lesson two. We're going to go through a couple of simple phrases. And at the end, we have some translations here. I will translate them into, um, I, I, I could translate them into, you translate them from your word list. I'm not going to translate them. I don't know why I'm saying, but there is a word list after this. Kirsten will, will, will the, this will be posted up and then you can do your translations. And I also have a little bit more of, of uh, a little quiz that I could add on there too as well. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go through the word, the, the word list for lesson two, the phrases, and then you guys can work on the rest, okay? We did mother. You have all the words that we need right here. I'm only going to write the, the Nakoda. I'm not doing the English for them. I will, um, I'll go through the tibi, ska, sha, sha, ri, ri, hoda, hoda, hoda. Knicknera, 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 Knicknera. See, these are some, I'm not going to go through all of these. We, we had, we ran into some, um, it's the, it's the way things are said in Canada and because this is, comes from the States. So we will go through all of them though. Um, Otuatanga, Otuatanga, and that is, <clears throat> that's a city. <clears throat> we also have, um, I'm not going to go, I'm going to, uh, okay, no, no, we'll just keep going down the list. Tioba, Tioba, Tibi, Ska, Sha, Ri, Hoda, Hoda, Kniknaha, Otuatanga, Tioba, Tanga, and you can you you can write these words any way that you want to as long as you understand them. <clears throat> um, I find that if you're first when you first start out, you're better off to write them phonetically because then you can say them. Tin, wagan, wagan, shunga. Shunga, TP, oh, sorry, let's say, that's not right, that's not, we OT, we o -T. that is a TP, we OT, To, Saba, Z, Shaimna Otua 
Owaji, Owanaji, Owanaji, Jusin, Jusinan, Tagan, Hokun, and Buza. These are your word lists that were that you will be working with in your uh, lesson two. T T B. Ska. House. White. Sha. Red. Ri. Yellow. Choda. Choda. Gray. Kniknera. Striped. Otuatang. City. Tioba. Door. Tanga. Large. Big. Tin. Inside. Wagan, below. Shunga, which is a dog. We, we, oh, this is a, we, we, oti, it's a teepee. Toe, blue. Saba, black. Z, which, what, what, what is, Z is brown. Ri is yellow. Z, ri. Shaimna, this is pink. Otua, it's a town. Owanaji is also a town. Jusina is small. Tagan, outside. Hokun, below. Buza is a cat. Those are all the words, your, word, your vocabulary list for lesson two. Now, they've also got some simple, some little phrases here. I'm going to say them just so that you can hear the words because the first one is I have a white house. Tibi ska mnuha. Tibi ska mnuha. I have a white house. Now I'm going to tell you that I live in a white house. Tibi ska en wati. Tibi ska en wati. Tibi house. Ska, oh I don't, ska, white, and inside, wati, I live, wati, I live in a white house. Okay, now I'm going to tell you that I live in a big city. Otua tang en wati, otua tang en wati. Otuatang en wati. I live in a big city. My father has a blue house. A day. Tibi to. He has. You ha. Yeah, my father has a blue house. Tibi to you ha. He has a blue house. My mother lives in town. Ina. Otua. Where is that Otua? Otua town. Ina. Otua Ekta T. My mother lives in town. Ekta. She lives there. Tin U. You know, somebody knocks on the door. Tin U. Come in. Here, the little boy is standing inside. En Ia. He'll tell them, go inside. En Ia. Oh, tin ia. Go inside. Goa. Getezi, nechi wu. Goa. Come here. Come here. Goa. Tagan ia. No, your kids are making too much noise. Tagan ia. Go outside, tell them. Tagan ia. Ichu. Go ahead. Ichu. Remember. Your mother asked you to wash dishes and you didn't do them. Ichu! Do it, she'll tell you. And Ichush! Oh, talk back. Ichush! Don't do it. Ichush! And I think that's all the lessons. That lo wraps up the lesson for lesson one. Mm, sorry if you thought I'm yelling, I was yelling at you. I'm sorry, lesson two. Ichu! I like that though. Do it. You've also got some the translations here next week. 
unless you want me to go through them real quick. There's only 10 of them. Okay, number one, my father wants hot coffee. Ade hochnach ya bi kada ya chinga. My father wants hot coffee. Miade, my father. Miade hochnach ya bi kada ya chinga. Miade hochnach ya bi kada ya chinga. My father wants hot coffee. My mother owns a big blue house. Mihu. Mi mihu. Tibi. Oh, that's a tongue. Tibi tanga to. Is it to tibi tanga? Tibi tanga to you ha. Ina. Tibi tanga to you ha. That's too much, too much tease. A day. Tin u. Number three, come in, father. A day. Tin u. Number four, sit down, mother. Ina. Iodanga. Mother, do you want coffee? Ina. Hochnach ya biya chinga ha. Ina. Hochnach ya biya chinga ha. Father, how are you? A day. Doken ya u ha. A day. Doken ya u. A day. Doken ya shka. Mother, how are you getting along? Ina. Doken ya shka ha. Father, I will shake your hand. A day. Nabechim nuzinkt. A day. A bait. Nambe chim nuzinkt. A day. I will shake your hand. Sit down over there, Father. A day. Gaki iyo dangawo. A day. Gaki iyo dang. What are you doing? Dagu ichanu ha ina. Ina. Dagu ichanu ha. Mother, what are you doing? Ina. Dagu ichanu ha. And those are your 10 phrases that I translated into Assiniboine. You have 10 more phrases that need to be transla translated into Nakoda. I'm going to leave that up to you. Have a good day, everyone. Me no go ya be na ma ko ta je ma cha na ko ni ya te